friends this is a heart cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case will be about grade 4 plus and in this case I am going to employ my submarine job technique by this time main incision and on side port on the left side of the main incision has been made this is an air bubble and underneath this air bubble type 1 blue dye is injected to stain the anterior capsule the dye should be spread evenly over all parts of the capsule now the dye is washed out and then viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is filled up with this viscoelastic substance and now this is capsulorexis the anterior capsule has been incised and the capsular tag has been erased I hold this tag with a uterata forceps go anti-clockwise and try to do a large rexis now see what happens here the rexis tends to go to periphery so we have to pull like this retrieve the rexis then again go to periphery to make the rexis of adequate size that's it the rexis is done now hydro dissection very small amount of BSS is injected under the anterior capsular rim near the equator just underneath the anterior capsular rim the nucleus is tapped and some more fluid is injected nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized again viscoelastic substance is injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece the machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3 see how it is being done go bevel down remove some superficial cortical matter and this will improve visibility now rotate the FACO tip use the chopper to push the nucleus little down and now go into the substance of the nucleus bury the tip completely and travel through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine moves under water and as you reach near the opposite equator use the chopper to divide the nucleus rotate it on 80 degree and divide the nucleus totally into two heminuclei now each heminucleus is again chopped here it is again the tip is buried completely and the nucleus is chopped now each fragment is worked on with ultrasonic energy and it is emulsified and removed now this is the other heminucleus again the tip is totally buried the piece is held very firmly and it is chopped now each big nuclear piece is tilted and it is it enough starting from its apex because apex is quite sharp and pointed in such cases so I feel comfortable to start it from the apex
And now, this is the last portion of the nucleus. And the chamber is nicely formed. That's it. This portion of the surgery is not edited. You have seen the total management of the nucleus. And now some scholastic substance is injected and cortex is cleaned. This portion of the surgery is going to be edited. After cleaning the cortex, some visco is injected and a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Since there is lot of viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber and in the capsular bag, this viscoelastic substance has to be removed thoroughly. So what I do is, first I take the Simco cannula, irrigate some fluid in the anterior chamber and then behind the lens in the capsular bag. And this irrigation removes a lot of viscoelastic substance from inside the eye. Then I irrigate with the irrigating probe of bimanual IA then hydrate the side ports and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. After final lavage the anterior chamber is formed like this and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.